Many of you may remember the traditional way we have to deploy Windows Store apps via Intune. We head into Apps and then choose Windows Store from the list, and then all we have to do is fill in all this information. And, well, then we have to find, well, the exact URL for the app, which we get by going to this link and then searching for the app and then the Intune link. It's all of a bit of a mess, really. But now, something which I know a lot of you have been waiting for, myself included. Now we have deep integration between the Windows Store and Intune via something called Winget, the Windows Package Manager. I'll be doing a deep dive on Winget soon, but for now, here's a quick look at the improved flow for deploying Windows Store apps via Intune. So it's just a case of heading to the Endpoint Manager Admin Center or the Intune Admin Center, whatever we're calling it now. We're going to go to Apps, All Apps. Choose Add, and then in this drop-down, just look for Microsoft Store App New. It should appear in your tenant very shortly. Then we just choose Select. And we get to search the Microsoft Store App New. Okay, well, aside from the fact that that doesn't read particularly well, this is great. Let's click on that. Okay, so an empty search bar. Perfect. Let's just tap in uh, Slack again. It does a quick search, and we have the name Slack, Publisher, Slack Technologies, Inc., and the type is UWP. Next up, all the app information is pre-filled for us. We don't need to do any silly stuff with URLs. Just choose next. Scope tags if you need them. Assignments. Let's get this deployed to a test group. And then it's just next. There's all the information we're getting from this built-in integration with Winget. And then we just hit create. And that's it. The app will be installed on the target devices at the next check-in. Now I do need to say a huge thanks to Andrew Taylor for today's newsletter. Check it out.